Hi hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to solve the challenges in data validation super batch unit to unlock this super batch we need to complete two previous modules and one is formulas and validation module and the other one is duplicate management module if we complete these two modules then the data validation super batch unit will get unlocked and before starting the challenges we need to sign up for the developer edition or further click on this link so the page looks like this we need to fill all the details available here so enter the first name of yours and then enter the last name then enter your email address then select the role as developer and then type the company name as salesforce or your college name anything is fine and then select the country then enter your postal code and finally set the username and it should contain at the right and it should end with dot com data validation at the rate super.com so here we can see that it says username is already used try another so like this we need to enter some other names and we need to choose the unique username so here it is and finally click on this check box and then click on this sign me up button So here it says that please check your email to confirm your new account and to receive the email it takes approximately 10 to 20 minutes of time please wait till that and previously i already filled the form and i got this email so with the help of this email i will show you how to verify the account so to verify the account click on this verify account button then from here click on this reset password button click okay and then set the new password then confirm the new password then select any security question that you want and type the answer for that then click on this change password button so like this we updated the password successfully and from here just close this page and from the email copy the username then move to the super batch page and from here scroll down to the last and in this org details click on this three dots and from here click on this connect org button in the username paste the username which we copied from the email and then type the password then click on this login button then click okay click hello then from here click on this yes save it button so scroll down to the last and we can see that the org is added successfully and from here click on this launch button so the page looks like this and the challenge one of this super batch unit is enforce customer id format so move to the task details so here it is enforce customer id format and in this task details what it says is in the account object we are having the customer id field 
and we need to create an validation rule the customer id should include two character billing country code and a dash and eight digit number and this id must be exactly 11 characters in length and with zero spaces so to match all these details we need to create one of the validation rule so let's all this task for that move to this setup page and from here click on this object manager then click on this account and scroll down to the last so here we, we are having that validation rules button so click on that and click on this new so copy the rule name from the instructions that is customer id format then paste it here then add any description so i am adding it as the customer id should include up to zero spaces then we need to add the error condition formula here so i already written the formula somewhere so i am just pasting it here so here is the formula so this formula says that the customer id field should not be empty and the length should be 11 characters and it should not contain the spaces and finally it should match with the billing country code and an iphone and finally the digits so like this i created the formula and click on this check syntax button so here we can see that no errors found and the formula will be added in the comment section do check out that and then we need to add the error message so copy the error message from the instructions then add it here and in this error location click on this field and from here select the customer id so like this we created the validation rule just click save button so here it is now the task is completed scroll down to the last and click on this check challenge button click accept so here we can see that we got the 500 points that means we completed this task without any errors and do check out the remaining module answers and remaining challenges in our channel education matters please share the channel with your friends that's it thank you